Step one, inside of our game scene, we will now create a new UI game object. Let's give this a tag and also make sure to create a prefab out of it. This text object will be used to display how many users are waiting inside of our server and how many users are needed before the game can commence. Step two, add a new photon view onto our auth manager game object. Ideally, the photon view needs to be wherever you have the photon manager inside of your own project. Inside of our photon manager, create a new text variable. This will be used for our new UI text that we created in the previous scene. Inside of our scene loaded method, where we check if the current scene is the game, then we'll now set our player count text to the new UI text component with the tag that we specified. At the top of our photon manager script, we will now want two other integer variables, one for our current players by default, let's set this to zero, and one for our max players by default, I'm going to set this to two. Let's now comment out our start coroutine inside of our onjoined room. And below, let's now add a new RPC underscore player count method. This RPC will be responsible for incrementing our player count whenever a new user joins. Now, back inside of our RPC, we want to check if our current players is greater than or equal to our max players. If this is true, we then want to start our coroutine for spawning our player. Create a new update method inside of our photon manager. And if the current active scene is our main game, then we want to check if our player count text is not null. And if that is true, we then want to set our player count text to be current players forward slash max players. Now let's head back to our RPC player count and underneath spawning our player, we now want to disable our text game object and lock the room that we are currently in. If you have followed the tutorial up until this point, we should now get a waiting status before spawning into our game. By default, I've set this to two, but this number can be whatever you set it inside of your photon manager. Please do remember though, that since we made those uh, current player variables and max player variables public, that setting them in the script will not do anything and you will need to set those values inside of the inspector. Hey all, Lawrence from Express Unity. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this new tutorial for our Fall Guys clone. If you did, please subscribe and give it a like and comment down below what you thought. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.